DIYers, what's going on? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Hey, thanks for watching. We just assembled a six foot Craftsman workbench as well as drawers. And in today's video, we are going to put liner inside all the drawers. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, in front of us is the Craftsman workbench, 72 inches or six feet long. And we have added the additional drawers, which are sold separately from the bench. We've also installed a vise on the far right hand side, as you can see there. And if you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to assemble this bench, as well as assemble the drawers and install a vise, we will post those links down below in the comment section, as well as the description section for your convenience. However, let's get right to it. On the far right hand side right there is the internal liner for your drawers. And we're going to apply that or install it in all drawers. Here it is, non-slip drawer liner roll. And cut to fit as you can see. It's got an image here. And here's a number for you. Not sure if that will be helpful for you. It should be, hopefully. Let's go ahead and open it. On the back hand side are some measurements and some directions. And when opening this up, it's probably going to be nearly impossible to put any of this back in the plastic wrap for the remaining liner that you do not use. Basically, you just gotta open it up. And I'm tearing up the instructions. I've already read those and I'm familiar with them. And there we go. And you just unwrap it. And from here, we'll get the measurements of each drawer. A couple things you might want, a tape measure and whatever you wanna cut the liner with, whether it is a pair of scissors or a utility knife. From here, I'm just going to vacuum the inside of each drawer and get all the dust and whatever else is in there out of there. I went ahead and measured the top drawer, and the good thing about purchasing the Craftsman liner is the width is a perfect match. You do not have to measure and cut for the width. You just have to cut for the depth. And in our case, with this top drawer, 16 and a quarter. And I'm gonna use scissors to cut the liner. First cut is complete. I did my best to make the cut as straight as possible. And an additional thing is you only have to make one measurement because the drawers themselves are all the exact same depth and width. And that is a perfect fit. Kind of line it and push it in. And now we'll make three more cuts the exact same size. At this point, I made my three additional cuts for my lower three drawers. And again, all 16 and a quarter. And with this exact workbench and that exact add-on drawer assembly and purchasing this specific liner, you will be left with 20 and a quarter inches of liner. And that's enough to line an additional drawer if you have one. However, from here, I'll insert those in the bottom three drawers. At this point, all four drawers are lined and we love it. And again, as you make your measurements, you are not measuring the width. The product already comes perfectly set for the width. You're just measuring the depth. And once you make that first measurement and cut, all the remaining cuts will be the exact same because the drawers are the exact same measurements. And again, a huge benefit to your drawers of your workbench to not allow your tools to be able to slide all over the place and become unorganized as you open and close those drawers throughout your projects. So with all that said, hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And again, in the event you want guidance on how to assemble this bench as well as assemble the drawer add-on or a vise, those links are down below in the comment section as well as description section. Thanks again for watching.